We're, we're living in an incredibly exciting but also daunting time where so many sales are now moving to online that traditional distribution models really need to evolve very quickly to keep up. So for instance, um, uh, our distributors are supplying some of these online marketplaces, Amazon and people like that. And what value are they really added by doing that? Or should we be doing that? That's some of the questioning that's going on. Um, a big challenge we've got is luggage buyers think our product's a toy and toy buyers think it's a piece of luggage and trying to get it in the right place in stores is a real challenge. E-commerce circumnavigates that. And really as a brand, we want to get as close to our customer, our end user as possible. And actually distributors and retailers just get in the way. So um, we can see that the end picture, but we're in um, uh, an environment where we need to work with our distributors and retailers to get the product to the customer um, and that's a real challenge for us so migrating to a, a new way of doing business is all part of our business thinking at the moment. The biggest market outside of the UK for volume is the US, North America, um, so that's a very exciting market for us. Um, we actually find a lot of the smaller countries do really well, um, so the Nordics are doing fantastically well. Norway, when you look at the population size and how many units we've sold, is our second highest behind the UK of trunky penetration. Um, so learning there is the smaller distributors, um, they have a smaller market, so they try harder and they sell cross-channel into luggage, toy, nursery, travel stores, bigger markets that have distributors, they're very focused on just one channel and trying to get them to not just sell into toy stores but into luggage is, is really tricky because their whole setup is just to supply one market.